Hello everyone, it's Megan from Finger Lakes Wine Country and today I'm going to teach you how to make some sparkly celebration cocktails using none other than Finger Lakes Wine Country ingredients just in time for this festive season. So first up, we have a rosy celebration. So let's run through our ingredients. First up, for our sparkling wine, I have Heron Hill Lady of the Lakes Bubbly Blush. I have Finger Lakes Distilling Seneca Drums Gin in this really fun party box. And then we're going to need a rose simple syrup made in advance. Basically, to make this, you're going to need food grade rose water and sugar. Uh, don't worry, I run through all of how to make it in the blog. Um, I went ahead and made that in advance for this simple demonstration. And then we're going to need freshly squeezed lemon juice and fresh raspberries for garnish. All right, so let's get to it. First of all, you're going to need a shaker. We're gonna put some ice cubes in it. Slippery little guys. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our Seneca Drums gin in there. We're going to need one ounce of gin. And then we're going to need a half of ounce of our pre-made rose simple syrup. It's very fragrant. And then we're going to add a half an ounce of our freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then we're going to give her a shake until she is chilled. So let's get to it. Then we go ahead and we strain the mixture into our glass. Then we're gonna go ahead and top it off with our bubbly blush until it gets to be a really nice pink color. Oh my gosh, this is the prettiest cocktail I think I've ever made. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and top it off with a few raspberries. That is perfection. So now it's time for my favorite part, which is tasting it. So cheers. Ooh, that is delicious. So our next drink is going to be a pomegranate mimosa. Doesn't that sound delicious? First, we're going to need a champagne flute. We're going to need a sparkling white wine. And today we have Wagner Vineyards Sparkling Riesling. You're going to need fresh sprigs of rosemary here. We have a shallow plate of sugar for the sugar-coated rim, some cut limes, pomegranate seeds, and pomegranate juice. So our first step is gonna go ahead and be making our sugar-coated rim here. This is optional. I figured why not? This is a fun festive way to add a little more sweetness to our celebration drink. So we're gonna need to grab a lime and you're gonna run it around the rim. Get it a little wet there with the lime juice and then go ahead and dip it in our sugar. Time to pop our bubbles. Woo! Now that we have our sugar coated rim, we're gonna go ahead and fill our glass here about three quarters of the way with our sparkling wine. Being very careful not to mess up our beautiful sugar rim. Oh, I think I did mess it up a little bit. Once we have our sparkling wine, we're gonna go ahead and grab our pomegranate juice and top it off. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful and perfect for the holidays. Last, we need to do our garnish, which is going to be a few pomegranate seeds. And then we are gonna go ahead and get a fresh sprig of rosemary to pop in there. And you have one of the most beautiful, festive drinks I've ever seen. So now, again, for my favorite part, let's try it. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. That's perfect for a festive brunch or honestly, any time of the day. So there you have it. Those are our two sparkly celebration cocktails. Until next time.